Hi, this is Dan with Weld Fever. On today's episode, we're going to build a cruciform, which is probably the best thing to use in terms of practicing your welding skills. So stick with me. Here we go. Okay, so what we're going to construct now is called a cruciform, and basically what that is is it uh, it's four pieces of stock that are attached in such a way that it creates kind of a a cross, hence the name cruciform, and uh, it is the best way to maximize material and maximize your ability to lay down welds in order to practice um, without wasting material. I think that's what I'm trying to get at here. As you can see here on this particular one, uh, I used this as practice uh, some time ago and I have just welded the heck out of it. There is just tons of weld deposited in here and which is great because uh, it allows me to do so uh, without wasting a lot of material. So we're going to go ahead and make one of these and I'll show you how simple it is to put one together. So here is basically all we need to make our cruciform. We need a piece of uh, flat bar stock. Um, this happens to be three inches in width, a quarter inch in uh, thickness, and I happen to cut this one six inches long. These pieces are the same quarter inch thickness. They are also six inches long. However, they are one and a half inches uh, wide. Okay, real quick, I just want to interject with a comment here about cutting these things. Uh, you might remember this table that I made for a chop saw station some time ago. It has served me very, very well, and it serves me extremely well for making these cruciform cuts. Uh, you're going to see in just a minute here how I put the guide on the right there up a little bit higher than the, the table length, and I can go ahead and butt up that piece right to it. Of course, take a measurement, butt up the piece, and now I can make a cut that is exactly the length that I need, in this case, six inches. So repetitive cuts are a nothing with this table, yet another reason to build it. Uh, okay, back to the video. And so the idea is to go ahead and tack this on like so. Uh, and I'll turn this towards the camera so you can see it. Tack it on like so on both sides and you'll get the whole cross uh, configuration and essentially have four ready to go T-joints. I'm going to go ahead and tack this up. You can tack it up any way you want. You can use the MIG process, you can use TIG process. Uh, since I'm going to be doing some stick welding today, I'm going to go ahead and tack it up using an E6010 electrode. Uh, and the reason for using E6010 is because E6010 is very easy to strike an arc on uh, over and over and over again and they're great for tacking materials. So uh, let me show you how I tack this up. Okay, so there's really nothing to this. In fact, uh, I've got a magnet on this one here to set it up, but you really don't have to do that. I just basically uh, have gotten this thing around its center point, which my mark isn't even all that clear, but give or take. It doesn't have to be perfect. After all, it's just for practice. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and tack it now. Slightly different approach for tacking the other side since uh, it'd be hard to lay it down flat. I'll just go ahead and tack it from the top. Get it done that way. That's basically all there is to constructing a cruciform. You can see now it has that cross configuration, hence the name. And now we have four outstanding uh, surfaces, uh, corners, T-joints, whatever you want to use them for uh, in order to practice our welds on. 
and so ends another episode of Weld Fever. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, I know it was kind of short uh, and maybe not necessarily as involved as we normally get on the show, but this is a really useful uh, thing and it uh, will definitely help you practice. So rate, comment, and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.